Hi, hope everyone's doing well. Anyways, without further ado,
This is a new set from Aloha KB, who has made several sets that I've included before in these videos, though I've never actually bought from them directly. For this new set, the design doesn't really give me the vibes of whatever auspicious snow is, and just feels like a Chinese themed set. However, I think that the color chosen work well together and the novelty designs are quite nice, though I will admit that the font chosen isn't my favorite. It reminds me of the font you can find on retro Apple keyboards, though it is slightly different as the text isn't italicized. The one red flag, or maybe yellow flag for me, mainly has to do with the fact that the product page is kind of jank, and the prices on the GeekHack GB post are straight up wrong, which don't give a great impression. Aloha KB is a manufacturer and vendor based in China, so I understand that English is not their first language, but I also think that you should probably do a quick spell check and review of your product page and promotional pages to make sure you have everything in order. I've also had previous issues where I've included their sets before in the videos since they included a group by date on their Geek Hack post, but then the sale never went live. As a result, I don't include their stuff anymore until I see it actually go up for sale since I can't rely on their information. Like I mentioned before, I personally haven't bought stuff from Aloha KB directly, but I did find some posts where people seem to be happy with their purchases. There isn't enough customer testimonies or data out there where my fears or doubts would be completely pacified, but it does seem that they have delivered on products before. Ultimately, it's up to you and your appetite for risk whether this is something you'll want to join. The set does look quite nice, and pricing is pretty good at $109 for an all-in-one kit, which includes everything. Not too much is known about the vendor, and I have some worries there, so make sure you do use a credit card so that you have some form of protection in case things go south. Free Run Beyond Journey's End is one of the standout anime of recent times, so it was only a matter of time before someone in the hobby would want to create a keycap set or keyboard inspired by this anime. I personally really enjoyed reading the manga and watching the anime, so I was excited to learn that a set was created for it, but I must admit that I'm kinda disappointed. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really think that the colors really match the source all that well, and I think that the novelties don't really work all that well either. Now, maybe someone can argue that this set isn't actually inspired by the anime, but come on, really? Like, do you actually expect me to be that dumb and believe that? As a set on its own, it's not bad. The light purple and green do work well, and I do like some of the novelty designs. It's not a terrible set if you're just looking for a nice and light purple set. However, as a free run inspired set, I'm not impressed. Nice PBT Nigiri is a set inspired by sushi, but more specifically, salmon nigiri based on the colors chosen for the set. I think that the colors are nice, and I think that the base kit design is a good idea with the rose mimicking the general look of a piece of salmon sushi, but the one thing I'm not impressed by are the novelty designs. I get that it is a design inspired by sushi, but I feel like the different sushi novelties don't really match the set. It kind of feels like it was tacked on rather than being an integral part of the set to allow folks to really customize their board, which is a shame. I really do like the colors in the set overall, and I think there are a lot of keywords that will look good on, but if I were to buy the set, I would probably won't use any of the novelties. There weren't too many keywords that I found up for sale in this group buy period, but I did see this one. The Horangi 60 is a 60% O-ring Gaskamon keyboard that draws inspiration from traditional Korean folk art, specifically Tigers. It's a board with a decent heft weighing in at 2.2 kilograms fully built, which is probably due to the fact that it features a hefty weight bar made of either copper or brass. Color options are quite limited with only two options, brown or beige, though there will be three layouts available, WinKey, WinKeyless, and HHKB. While I do like the engravings, I'm having trouble justifying the price. It's an O-ring gas mount keyboard, and the case doesn't appear to be too hard to manufacture, so the only justification I can see would be the weight bar. While this may have been more accepted a few years ago in the hobby, there are now a lot of keyboards who also offer these material options at a much lower price. Maybe this is worth it to those who are chasing their endgame keyboard, or are big O-ring gas mount enthusiasts. But for most people in the hobby, $420 is a lot, and I'd probably pass on this one.